today, I'm going to show you how you can remove fields near critical nets to decrease the capacitance using Caliber Design Ref. The intent is to increase the spacing between the fill and the critical nets, so it is a timing-aware fill. It will help to reduce the parasitic effects to the critical nets, therefore a better timing. This is an example of net-aware fill. The blue line is my critical net. The green polygons are the fills to be removed, and the brown ones are the fill remains in the design. There are three steps for this process. First, you need to export the critical net to a separate RDB file or OASIS file. If your design has net name attaches property on those polygons, then you can use designrefs $l extract net command to export the net to OASIS file. Second step, you need to create a mapping file. For example, this is a mapping file that I use in this test case. It contains information for original layers in the critical nets, field layers, and my hello definitions. Third step, use Caliber Design Ref's filter shake command to remove the field polygons around my critical nets. This is the command line I use and the required arguments. Now, let me run the script and open the output database so you can see the results. As you can see from the output database, now we have more spacing between nets and the fill. It is recommended to rerun the density check to ensure the modified design does not create any new DRC violations. You may need to decrease the spacing between the critical nets and the fill to fulfill the density requirements if needed. Now, you should know how to use Caliber Design Ref to create timing aware fill database in three simple steps. My name is Sandra Peng. Thanks for watching.